Please be advised that Little Miss Recap contains adult language. Hey guys, what you're about to hear is a free preview of our Sister Wives coverage. On our Little Miss Recap Extra, which is Patreon and Supercast, Amanda and I share more unfiltered thoughts, and the episodes are generally well over an hour, sometimes close to an hour and a half. So I hope if you like what you hear, you'll jump over there and listen. Thanks so much. Hi everyone, welcome to Little Miss Recap, the podcast where we have an entire Dickens village full of rage for Cody, and here it comes. (laughs) Yes, we do. Oh, this motherfucker. (laughs) As as much as he's made us rage every episode, I think this this is going to be, this is going to take the cake. Well, I'm going to say this is going to take the cake, but who the hell knows what will happen next. You know what? This is going to take the crepe. It really is. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> my name's Amy Archer. I am your host of Little Miss Recap, and I'm here with my lovely sidekick, the Laverne to my Shirley. Oh, I like Amanda that. Amanda Lipnack-Radell. I was obsessed with Shirley when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, I wanted to be her. She had her little boo-boo kitty. I was, like, in love with her. I did enjoy the boo-boo kitty. I always mm-hmm. liked the fact that Laverne had the L's on all of her clothes. Hell yeah. She was styling, man. She mm-hmm. was. That was rocking for the 70s. <laughs> But we're here today to talk about a different kind of murder show, Sister Wives. The show that we would like to, oh, you know, no, we, we can't we say that out loud. Murdering people we, yeah. again. <laughs> Get on. Check us on Patreon and Supercast after minute 30 and you might hear some different takes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this is just so rageful. It really it's like, is. This is, this is yet an, an episode where nothing happened. But so much was there. You're learning. They are just really saying the quiet part out loud. Like they are, uh-huh. you know, I was talking to Jake from Reality Gaze a little bit about this because he's like, oh, I haven't mm-hmm. watched it yet and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I, I'm here for when Janelle tells him to fuck off. I'm like, dude, that happened episode two. Like oh, we yeah. are going. And I said to him, this is a different Brown family that we are seeing. This is. And it's a different show. It's We're a different not trying- show. We're not trying to whitewash this no. and make it look pretty no. anymore and spiff it up and try to throw some lipstick on pigs or how many other metaphors can I throw around? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're just like, this sucks. And we're going to tell you all the ways in which it sucks. Yeah. And I don't. And then Robin's going to cry. But I don't. But not cry. I don't know, like, if without the past 17 seasons of whitewashing, if this would mean the same. Yeah. I think if somebody just came in and watched this. They'd be like, okay, it's just a dysfunctional family. Mm -hmm. Cool. But the fact that we spent so many seasons of trying to make it look great. Yes. Only to realize no one thought it was great. And it was like, we know, and they knew that we knew that they knew, but we knew. Right. Yeah. It was. But we didn't say it out loud. Right. And now it's like, gloves are off. And guess what? Gloves are off in our coverage as well. Yeah, that's right. We the are driving not gloves. Back the here. leather driving gloves are off, Ugh. and we're ready. How many pairs of gloves do we think Cody owns? And why? Why does Cody own driving gloves? He he drives. What does he drive? A Saturn? I don't know. What does he drive? <laughs> Saturn. I had a Saturn at one point. I did too. Um, I loved the Saturn, but there was a I convertible he, Saturn. I thought he drove that. Yeah. No. No, it's the Lexus convertible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if he's still driving the Lexus convertible. Mostly we've seen him in that big truck. Yeah. That was his brother. He he pulled up to meet to meet Christine at Taco Verde or whatever in the convertible. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the name of that restaurant? I'm getting it wrong. Taco Tuesday. No, I I can't remember. (laughs) That's uh, it's not Bravo Taco Bravo. uh, Oh, it uh whatever something bravo bravo salsa you know what i'm talking about salsa bravo salsa bravo we got there there. which is a sister restaurant to fat olives Mm -hmm. which is where they Mm -hmm. had all their scenes last season yes yes (laughs) somebody in puddle monkey somebody's wife is like the manager of that group of restaurants Mm -hmm. exactly Mm -hmm. Mm All right, so let's start. We actually have our shit together today. Amanda has her yes. notes. I shouldn't say this. You always have your shit together. It's me. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys follow our Yellow Jackets recap, it's hilarious because we sign we sign on and we're talking, and then I'm like, okay, so Amanda has the notes, and she's like, no, you have the notes, Amy, and I'm like, I have the notes. <laughs> 
and we did it great. Yeah. It was yeah. it was good. Yeah. But yes, I do I do have the notes. I even took them yesterday, so it's all relatively fresh. Actually, to be fair, I finished them this morning. <laughs> All right, girl, take us away. This is uh, season Sister Wives, season 18, episode, is it five? It, we are on five. Episode five, title? When the, when the going gets tough. When the going when gets the tough, going you put on those tough. gloves and you head off in your Saturn. <laughs> <I won't. laughs> Here we are in, back in Flagstaff. Do, 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 things are bad. We're actually in Janelle's, you know, college apartment. Mm-hmm. God, that apartment is so fucking small. It's so bad. And one of the things I forgot to mention, because... Full disclosure, I've gone back and watched that fight at least 10 times. Um, one of the I things I forgot to mention when Cody slams the door and leaves, she has two different locks. She has a, a brushed nickel lock and a gold handle, and I can't with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you live in student housing without telling me you live in student housing. You live in an apartment yeah. complex that no one gives yeah. a fuck yeah. about. Yeah, been there. That's it. Been there. Uh, oh, mismatched same. No hardware. <laughs> same. The challenge is this poor woman's fifty years old. I know, and on a and on a major television show, she should yeah. not be living like this. No. It's fine when we lived that way when we were twenty two. Yes. So, um, and Christine's coming over to bring this huge ass bean bag because Janelle wants more furniture, but there's no room. I get that feeling. I've been in that mm-hmm. place, but I don't think that bean bag is going to help with the no room portion. That thing looks fucking. And I don't know how I feel about a secondhand bean bag. You know, I have a germ thing. <laughs> I know, but it's all it's also in the family. So That's all of her true. kids have already sat That's on true. it. It's you a know different that than... some of those boys have farted on that thing, though. Those boys have farted on everything <laughs> in that house. I mean, come on. Oh, all true. of those boys true. have farted. Actually, it, I mean, other than Robin's kids, when you think of boys, it's really all Janelle's kids. I mean, yes, Christine has. Yeah. Eaten, but... We try to ignore him. So Janelle talks about her relationship with Christine and how there used to be jealousy, but now it's super easy. And I, easy I was breezy. thinking about this a lot. Easy breezy. I was thinking about this a lot. You know, you and I, you have Stephanie. I have like my best friend, Wendy. Mm-hmm. We've been together forever. Mm-hmm. I don't think any, I think it'd be really hard to come up with a relationship of like the two of theirs where they are best friends. And it has been such an intimate relationship of raising each other's children. And yeah. Like you always say, they are the true together. marriage. They are the true mm-hmm. marriage. And I love them now. Yes, me too. I love them me so too. much. And I love like Christine being all devious because next she's like, so the other half, the house on the other half of my rental is um, going up for rent if uh, you would like to move up to Salt it, Lake. It's amazing. It's amazing. We all joked about that at yeah. first. Like, yeah. wouldn't that be great if they did but, that? But and to be fair, if if the executive producer of Puddle Monkey or his nephew or whomever is listening, we don't want a spinoff. Don't no, want a spinoff. No, I don't want a them. spinoff. I need all of these jokers we need every, in the show to make it work. We need Cody involved to be the villain. Period. Yes. Everyone has to be yeah. here. But- I would I would deeply enjoy the two of them living next door. Yes. And Janelle says if Savannah weren't still in high school, mm-hmm. she would really consider it. But she's also really tied to Flagstaff. And I was also thinking a lot about Janelle. Janelle is not a city girl. She is a country mouse. She yeah. loves being on the land. She loves which, gardening. Which I have to say, when that was revealed in, what, season maybe 15 or 16, that, like, Janelle yeah. was this agriculture freak, I right. was, like, totally taken aback by that. Doesn't fit with I was her. Like, say what now? I also, you're right. It doesn't fit with what we've known about her. But I love this for her. I do too. Um, and I, I'm sad for her in her apartment because she doesn't have her I garden know. anymore. I know that's sad. And so, but she says she she would love living next to Christine. She's like, we would have so many adventures and mm-hmm. it would be so fun. Mm-hmm. And I think they would have a grand old time. Mm-hmm. I also okay. think David Woolley is well aware of the fact that marrying Christine means he's also getting Janelle. Janelle they're a package deal, I agree. and you know. By the way, uh, did you see the previews? Yes. We're starting to get well, to Christine dating. Or does it happen yes. in this episode? We're just talking. No, it's the previews, right? Oh, no, it's the preview for next week. We're starting to get there. Hire a matchmaker. Mm-hmm. I want to know. Uh, hopefully we find out how she met. Well, I th- they met so online. She ha- they met online. They met online on an app called Stir or something. I don't know. Whatever. It's, not it's one probably I've ever heard of. a Christian thing. I don't know. Are they Christian? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's probably a God thing. Let me just say that. It's probably mm-hmm. a God thing. Yeah. I think... I think David, if he's not still, is at least former FL or not FLDS, LDS. I don't know if he's yeah. still a practicing Mormon, yeah. but, and we know Christine was AUB. So Christine says she knows it's hard for Janelle right now and knows 
how much freedom is ahead of her if she can just make that leap. Like, she's like, I am here from the future, Janelle. Mm -hmm. It is so much better. Mm -hmm. And it's, it was both gratifying and hard to watch Christine be so sad for Janelle because she knows that feeling. I know. And just really empathizing with Mm -hmm. her and having a little distance but still being in it and uh, i have to ask you something kind of weird okay so you've asked me many (laughs) weird things so i'm kind of without prefacing it so i'm curious what this is so when my first marriage broke up it was i mean it was on its way out anyway but it was because he cheated on me with another person okay okay sure which you know i'm grateful for that now but at the time it sucked um Have you had that instance? Was there another woman involved in your divorce? No. Okay, because here's my weird thing that I wanted to say. Okay. I have a weird respect or some kind of bond that I feel with that woman. Because now mm. they have divorced. And okay. it ended. Oh, so he wanted to marry her. Yes. And it went very okay. ugly. Sure. And Right after that happened, she reached out to me. So this was about 10 years later. She reached out to me and was like, I owe you an apology. You know, I was young. Here's what happened. You know, just kind of. And I feel such a bond with this woman. And it's so weird. I get it. Because you have the same experience with somebody who you have said very openly you did not care being married to he was not good for you he was not good to you and all of that right and now she has that similar experience and honestly she probably understands that experience in a way no one else will understand it and it's like it's so weird and i wonder if janelle and christine are there where they're like we have this incredible bond because there's literally almost no one else on the planet who understand like i don't think it matters that they were married to him at the same time no, I think they just no, but they both married yeah, they both yeah. have this experience of the pain that he causes, yeah, and they both know that, and that's a very specific pain that they can only walk each other through. They know, and Mary they know. could have that bond as well, but she's weird. So there we go. She's weird, and I, and they don't trust Mary for good reason. No, I think. no, there's Smurf um, Village, then there's Gargamel's right. Castle, which is where Robin is. And I don't know, then there's like weird Smurf off in the corner <laughs> whose who's little, <laughs> like who's little, yes, who's little Smurf house is like all deformed and up in the woods. That's Mary. But larger than it needs yes. to be. And that's where Mary yes. lives. Yes. And occasionally her weird friend Jen shows yes. up. Yep. Um, friend yes. Jen, quote unquote. Yes. So Janelle talks about divorce. And this was great because she we learned more about the divorce process mm-hmm. in the AUB. Mm-hmm. Um, again, in case people aren't aware, AUB is their religion. It's the Apostolic United Brethren. And and here it, I am calling them a, Christians like an idiot. Yeah, look at you. I'm here to correct. <sighs> I'm here to correct you. the Thank religion. You. Anyway, it, and it's a form of Christianity. But anyway, they it's not a divorce. It's called a release. Which, which felt really feels dirty. Weird to me. I don't want to think of Cody releasing. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, and Janelle, like, you can see, if not for Savannah, it would really be a difficult decision for her to stay in Flagstaff versus go to Salt Lake mm-hmm. because she's like, I don't really have a community. She loves Flagstaff, but in Salt Lake, she could have a community and maybe a church because mm-hmm. she still believes in this church. She really does. And like I said, she's just not a city girl. Mm-hmm. She's a country mouse. And Janelle says in that conversation, she has talked to Cody one time since the fight. One time. And, well, um, uh, you just, no. you know what, like a like a mayor opening a new restaurant and clipping that, cutting that ribbon, you just set me free. You tell me when to go and start my Savannah Rage. You just clip okay, that ribbon when we're there. We are just about to get okay. here. So <laughs> I'm ready. So Christine says she knows about the fallout with the boys, but she doesn't understand what's up with Savannah. And she has, he has not spoken to her since her birthday, it is the middle of January. Savannah's birthday is the beginning of December. And Christine is livid, as is Amy Archer. Go. I I am heartbroken for this girl. Listen, I always say it is the easiest thing in the world to be a parent. I know that people think it's really hard. It's not. You ha- you, you, all you have to do is love your kid. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all you have to do. Now, is it hard to be a good parent? Sure. But to to just 
a kid will will love you and appreciate any effort, any effort that you give them. All you have to yeah. do is show up for them. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's how easy it is. Show up for them. And this motherfucker is showing up for Robin's kids. Oh, yeah. All day, and every day. And not Savannah. And this girl, I-, I was crying when I was watching this because you could see in her face that she was trying not to cry. Yeah. This motherfucker has sent a message to this kid that she will never forget for the rest of her life. And no. that's that's another thing. Like, I, I say parenting is easy because it's easy to love your kid. But one mistake like this can fuck everything up. She will never forget this. She'll never no, forget she'll... it. And all he had to do, Amanda, he didn't have to go over there with bags full of presents and mea culpa or whatever fucking Greek terms he throws out. <laughs> all he had to do was pick up the phone caller. That's it. Yep. It's That's not hard. It. It's not hard, Pick up guys. The phone and say, "Hey, let's go out to lunch." Yeah, yeah. Let's like. I know we do think something. I know we think like we have to be, you know, the be all and end all in parents for our kids, but really, they just need somebody to show up and love them. That's it. That's it. That's it. And that's they all this kid they needs. They can count on. Yeah. And what she has learned, and what all of Janelle's kids have learned, and what all of Christine's kids have learned is they cannot count on their father. Yeah. They can't. But you know who can count on their father? Robin's kids. And then Cody's- That man would go to the mat for then them. Then he's sitting in Gargamel's castle like, gee, I wonder why all my kids hate Robin and her kids. Right. I, the call's coming mind. from inside the house, dick bag. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't think it matters to the kids who Robin is or isn't. All they see is that Robin's kids get what they have never gotten. Yeah. And and that you can't you can't change that. You just can't. It's heartbreaking. And, and Cody can sit there and the irony, the the irony of this is he's accusing Janelle of like separating him from his kids and here's a kid that he right. has no issue with. No. And he's choosing to be separate from her. Yeah. And to hear Savannah talk about it, she's like, at first I was really hurt and sad, and now I'm just sad. And she just seems so defeated. And it's interesting because, like, we see a head, not in this, but, you know, I saw on Instagram when Savannah graduated from high school, Janelle posted all those things and mm-hmm. all the photos of it, mm-hmm. which is totally normal. And... um a lot of people were wondering if Cody was even there and there is a photo of Cody and Savannah. And now I I went back and looked at that photo and you can see she's trying so hard to look happy next to her dad. She'll never forgive him. It's not genuine. She will Mm -hmm. never forgive him. And you know, Mm -hmm. there's this, there's this idea and I'm sure this is rampant in the manosphere that, you know, when you divorce a woman, a woman has quote control of the kids and can like mind control them and Mm -hmm. brainwash them and like i always say i'm always a believer of the truth will come out in the wash kids will know if you're trying or not and guess what savannah knows she sees he ain't trying he's not trying and there's nothing janelle can say or do and i know janelle and she's a good mother and i'm i imagine janelle's trying to damage control on the other side of this if not if for nothing else but for savannah Yep. And is trying, she's yeah. pro- like, if it were me, I'd probably be saying things like, your father's just upset with me. He probably didn't want to talk with me or, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be trying to, yeah. and Cody doesn't fucking deserve her. that, but that's what Janelle's probably trying to do. Oh, well, I'm sure she is. And trying to make excuses for him and soften it for mm-hmm. Savannah so she doesn't take it personally. But how can you not take it personally? Mm-hmm. That your own father doesn't call you on fucking Christmas. And I imagine and does, Janelle doesn't even send a present home. And I imagine Janelle and Christine have probably been in that position many times with Cody, oh, where they've had oh, to yeah. to lie to their kids. So here he is accusing them of brainwashing his kids against them, and he doesn't realize for the past ten years these women have probably been creating an image of him or helping to further an image of him in their kids' minds of a positive father. Making excuses yeah. for him yep. and trying to soften yep. it. And yeah, it's. Okay, I'm done. It's. Okay. <laughs> You're done it for wasn't now. that bad. I'm sure it wasn't be more. that bad. No. I just, again, just to to summarize, it's easy to be a parent. Just love your kid job. Done. Yeah. And you can't do mm-hmm. it. And Hey, everyone. Stay tuned. Little Miss Recap will be right back after these words. 
Christine says it would be easy for Cody to fix this by doing something, and I put in crazy, like seeing his kids. Yeah, yeah. That's all he has to do. Yeah, Christine is as enraged. <laughs> Christine is the audience. Yeah. She's Christ- the audience. Christine is us, mm-hmm. and we are Christine. Mm-hmm. Now we get Cody crying about how he got kicked out of his home, and he doesn't have the emotional fortitude to reach out to his children. Fuck off. You mean- Now, did, now it's my was turn. He ta- Fuck was off. he talking about getting kicked out of Janelle's? Yeah, and Christine's house. Mm, okay. He got kicked out of both okay. houses. And he doesn't have the emotional, he, this is exactly what we said, the emotional fortitude to reach out. Fuck you. Fuck him. I don't care. Fuck him. I don't care if you are pissed at, at the mother of your children. You do not take it out on your children. Period. Mm-mm. Fuck you. This is, you raged before. This is my turn. Okay, good. So, Bring it. <laughs> and he says he'll, he'll reach out to Savannah at some point, but you know, the phone goes both ways. Again, Fuck you. It is never a child's job to make their father or their parent a good parent. I totally Period. agree. I totally agree. This is not her job to fix. Mm-mm. This is your job to fix, you lying, lazy ass son of a bitch. Mm. Okay. Gargamel. So, Gargamel. So, Christine asks Savannah how she's doing. Mm-hmm. And she said she's angry and sad. But so there's no gifts, no nothing. And J- Janelle says she was floored by it. He didn't even send a gift home with McKelty, Isabel, and Truly. When Jesus we were there. Christ. Oh, my heart Nothing. is broken for Savannah. I'm telling and you, read, this is, she'll never forget this. She'll never forget no, it. This will be what she talks about on the couch. My mother used to, my mother used to tell me when I thought there was some great, you know. Save it for therapy. Horrible. Well, she'd be like, I'm just giving you couch items. Yeah. I'm I always say to my kids, save it for your therapist. You could talk with them someday. <laughs> yes, couch <laughs> items is what my mother called it. But, and this is, this will be a big couch item mm-hmm. for Savannah. And. It, ugh, I read something that McKelty had said on her Patreon, like someone reported back mm-hmm. basically that Savannah wasn't even invited. Like I it know. wasn't Savannah didn't she, she wasn't even invited. I know. Fuck you. I know. And Christine apologizes to Savannah for her hurt feelings. I know. Like Christine's Christine's trying to make this better for this child. Well, because Christine probably feels Christine's her mom. Christine is she's an her empath. Mom too. And yep, so she totally probably like feels like I started this ball rolling. This is kind of my fault. Not true. Not true. No. But, no. you know, when you're going through something like that, your emotions are all over the fucking place and you probably feel guilty. And don't forget, she even said, Cody says I ruined the family. Like that is in her head somewhere. That is in the yeah. back of her mind. And so she's seeing this and she's like, fuck, am I at the center of this? Right. And do I have to end? Also, and you're not, Christine. Been her- go on. No. And she's been spending her whole life trying to make these kids feel better about their shitty yes. dad. So yep. she's just one more time. And But I did like Christine said, she she's much more reserved because Savannah's in the room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which I kind of wish Savannah weren't in the room because I'd really We need like unfiltered Christine. We're almost there in the confessionals. But we yeah, need I need, need unfiltered more. Christine and Janelle together yes. to just yes. go for it. With a couple drinks. And With a couple drinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she comes back to her man the hell up and just like be a dad and – and all of them, Savannah, Janelle, and Christine says they feel like something's just flipped. And they hope um they hope he flips back. Yeah. And they don't know when that'll happen. If that'll happen, I don't think it'll happen. And Christine talks about how hard it was being married to him and how it felt hopeless for so long. And she just hates seeing that happen to Janelle. And she knows that feeling so well, much like we talked yep. about. And she hates seeing Savannah feel neglected and her kids felt the exact same way for a long time. Mm-hmm. And she asks the question, is he just going to leave everyone but Robin? Yeah. And that's what he's doing slowly but mm-hmm. surely. Now, uh, we get Robin and Mary. <laughs> Why are they still outside? Why are we still outside? Why? Though I do love her little patio. I like her little fire. I do too, but the fire thing. was lit and then the next shot it was out. And then the next shot, it was, it was lit. lit. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening, Puddle Monkey. We, 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 we have some we have some challenges with continuity yeah, with these folks yeah. sometimes. But I would I would sit out by that fire pit. That looked nice. Get ready um, for this conversation, because wow, wow, this was wild. So this was a journey. Ro- Robin is still whining about how crazy Christmas was, and it was tragic for her. Mm-hmm. That looked nicer than most Christmases I had yeah, as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the fuck. She's but again, about. her children didn't have right. their extended family over. How about the kids who didn't have their father there? 
Right. Again, she's right. equivocating these two things, or she's she's trying to build correlation between these two things, and it's not the same. No, Stop it. Correlation does not equal causation. Thank you. It is not the same thing. Actually, there's something Michelle and I talked about yesterday, and Robin ascribes feelings to her children all of the time that may or may not be there. Correct. Correct. And we, we talked about, you know, remember last season when um, no one spent Thanksgiving together mm-hmm. and she sat her kids down and she was like, no one likes you and no one wants to spend Thanksgiving yeah. with yeah. you. And the the right, the right parenting thing would have been to say, hey guys, let's talk about the holidays. Mm-hmm. Janelle's going to see Maddie and Caleb mm-hmm. in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Christine's going to Aspen and Mitch's. They just bought a house. She wants to be, they want to be there for Thanksgiving. So it's just going to be dad, Mary and us. Mm-hmm. Done. The kids would have gone, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And gone back to their, you know, their switches and their phones. Like, the thing about Robin but- is she's doing what Christine and Janelle have done, which is making excuses for people, mm-hmm. you know, that she feels are slighting her kids. The difference is Janelle and Christine are doing about their own father. Right. She's doing about right. like extended. Some random woman that their yes, dad is also married thank you. to. Yes. So, and she comes back to this. If he could have worked it out with the boys. Oh. We revisit the stupid text chain. Um, and at the end, Robin said, this is an exercise in futility. And that in the end, I thought this was interesting. Cody and Robin decided that their family wasn't safe doing the sibling gift exchange. Can you fucking believe this? I I can't even tell you the things I would be willing to do to get eyes on that text exchange. Amanda, I know that Ace and Caitlin from Sister Wives, uh, what is the name of their podcast? Sister Wives Love. Love should be multiplied, not divided. They have offered up $1,000. Mm-hmm. Corey and Carly are willing to match it from Surviving Sister okay. Wives. We'll match Almost it. recap, we'll match it. So now we're at yeah, 3000 <laughs> My God, we should start a campaign. Who of the who are the who are the kids? Could we? I bet we. Could, I bet for three thousand bucks we could get Gwen to share it. I bet Gwen probably, share. probably. But you have you've bucks. heard it here. We are in on this. We are yes, in on this. We too will share. And this. then we need one big episode where like all three podcasts sit and read the text chain. You I'm here. I'm here for this. It. I love it. I love it. I bet others would would do that too. So yeah. Anyway, so. Um, Robin says she wanted all of the kids at her house, but she didn't want to watch a fight between Cody and the boys because it wouldn't be fair to anyone. Can we go Fuck back you. to the not safe? Can I get yeah. can I get boo boo? Can I get political for a second? Of course. Of course. Isn't this like snowflake language? Wouldn't Cody be like, You're a snowflake? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He is the king. He's the ultimate snowflake. Know. And I don't like that term. I'm just using either. it back at him how he would use it. Absolutely. And that's how they behave. Like, because so anyone ridiculous. who shows vulnerability or has feelings, you know, he maligns as a, a snowflake. snowflake. But and anybody who tries to empathize with other people is a snowflake. But what is unsafe but, about a sibling gift exchange? Right. I don't, like I said, we need hands on this. We need eyes on this because I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> So Christine says they didn't get together because there was just an obvious separation at the end. Mm-hmm. Her kids and Christine's kids on one side, Robin and anyone else on can the other. Can we just and- for one second to get back to my absurdity that I love so much? Can we say how absurd it is that after all of this, it seems to be a text chain that brought down this entire family? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> and so – I actually, uh, we might need the shame thing. I felt bad for Mary in this conversation. No, that's not shame. I feel bad for her too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She good. deserves our sympathy because, here. Because Robin tells her that Isabel Truly and McKelty came over. And Mary didn't even know yeah. Isabel was in town. Yeah. yeah. And notice Robin she doesn't says, say like, oh, I missed McKelty too. She doesn't say anything there. No, she doesn't say that. She hates McKelty. And remember all the time, you know, finding out that Robin, or excuse me, that Chris, Jesus, there's too many women here that Mary and McKelty had such a difficult relationship. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking back all the times that like you would see Mary in particular be like, I don't want to see that on you. I don't want to see that. Mm-hmm. Like she picked on McKelty mm-hmm. a lot mm-hmm. um, really about her dress. Mary was not nice. And, no, she's not. Mm-hmm. She's not a nice person. No. I don't think she's a really kind mm-hmm. person. And Mary says she's hurt and she doesn't know why Robin's telling her all this. I know why Robin's telling her all this to make her feel bad and to make her feel superior, to make Robin feel superior. I'm here for the subplot of Robin and Mary breaking up and Mary understanding finally 
that Robin. Robin's not a good friend. Like ripping off that Scooby Doo mask and being like, it was you all along. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. Because we're getting there slowly mm-hmm. but surely. And she just says it's really weird. And Robin claims she thought she knew about it. And Robin is frustrated because she couldn't control it and she couldn't decide what was happening. Okay, whatever. Caught. Co- co- why can't I speak today? Cody talks about the ruins of his marriage to Mary and they're just better friends than a married couple, which fine. I, I my first husband and I have said many times we are way better ex-spouses mm-hmm, mm-hmm, than we were actual mm-hmm. spouses. And th- if that's the case, then say we're done and be done. But my problem he is, is he's not even a good friend to her. No, he's not. No. As as Mary says, friends talk. Yes. Yes. Friends talk. Yeah. My Charlie sends me Charlie sends me random memes on Instagram almost every day. Yes, like yeah. we, Friends we don't communicate. We communicate. We don't speak often mm-hmm. because I don't speak to anybody often yeah. anymore in except this me. age. But except you. <laughs> but like I also know if I needed him, I could pick up the phone and call yeah. him. And if he could do it, he would do yeah. it. Because and I would do the same for mm-hmm. him. It's great. So anyway, Robin's trying to understand why Christine left and the decisions through COVID. Rob, throughout this episode, Robin is just really trying to understand what happened. And I don't think it matters. Why does she care so much? Unless, and this just popped into my, my little tired brain this morning, unless she's trying to understand what happened so she can make sure it doesn't, so it doesn't happen, to, happen her. to her. That's what I was just thinking. It's kind of like when you hear someone young died. Yes. And you're kind of like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But then you're kind of low key, like, what happened? Right. And what happened? What did they, what did they do to, like, yes. what choices did they yes. make to make this happen? Yeah. And how do I, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. Kind of the same that? situation. Like, okay, Cody has fallen out of love with these three women. Mm-hmm. Why? Why and what happened and how do I avoid it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she, she says she met this cohesive family, but. Everybody talks about how bad it was and she didn't see it. Well, of course she didn't see it. She didn't live in it. She didn't live in it. She, Like Christine says, she didn't live plural marriage. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to our free preview of our Sister Wives coverage. If you'd like to hear more, please join Little Miss Recap Extra by clicking on the Patreon or Supercast link in the show notes. We hope you'll join us over there where you're getting a lot more unfiltered Sister Wives content. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.